ideal. But again, we're here because of fraud. A judge orders a new Democratic primary for Connecticut's largest city over absentee ballot fraud concerns. And tonight, we're now hearing from both candidates. Good evening, and thanks for joining us here for Eyewitness News at 6. I'm Mark Sinney. And I'm Erin Connolly. This is all happening just days before Election Day. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane has been following this case from the beginning. He picks up our coverage with the latest. Our objective is to bring accountability, transparency to the election process and integrity. John Gomes and his team are feeling good about that court order, issuing a new Democratic primary between him and Mayor Joe Gannum. And all we could do is ask the voters of Bridgeport to show up on November 7th and cast their vote in person to make sure that this does not happen again. Gannum won September's primary by 251 votes, but Gomes filed a lawsuit after video surfaced showing Gannum supporters stuffing absentee ballot drop boxes. When questioned during the court hearing, the two women in the video pled the fifth. Judge William Clark said the overwhelming evidence calls into question the legitimacy of the primary results, hence a new race. As for what happens on Tuesday, Gomes' attorney claims it's simple. If uh, John Gomes wins on the independent party line, the case is over. We'll withdraw the complaint, and that's the end of it. There will be no new primary. There's no new general election. The Gomes camp feels if Gannam wins on Tuesday, that would set up the new primary in which if Gomes wins that, you'd have a new general election. But according to the Secretary of the State, just what will happen and when it will take place? The Attorney General's office um, and the court have not yet made that determination, um, so this is all being worked out now. Meanwhile, Gannam says his team will explore all legal options, including possibly appealing the court's decision. Lawyers are going to look at how that plays in and whether what, what decisions they make, but what's really important is, and I'll say this to everyone who's listening, we need people to come out and vote. An interim election monitor is in place in the Park City, recently asking for access to the video of the drop boxes to make sure no wrongdoing is still taking place. As for Tuesday's election and that new primary that would follow, Governor Lamont had this to say. I'm afraid Bridgeport has had election issues going back um, a long, long time, and uh, we've got to get it right. I think the judge made a big step there. Reporting in Bridgeport, Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.